Today's artist of the day, Benny Vibes. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Artist of the Day. Today's artist of the day is Benny Vibes. Very Benny Vibes was actually someone that uh, requested in the comments of one of my later posts back when I first started this series to um, to, re to review his music. And um, he has five songs, but two of them are from like way back in 2014, so I listened to those two. Um, just to gauge if it's like you know worth reviewing, and it sounded pretty good. Um, but again, again, it's like there's a there's a giant gap from 2014 to 2021 and 2022. So there's only three songs. So for this review, I'm only reviewing the newer things since it's more recent. Um, as far as the background of who Benny Vibes is, the, the I will read the description of what it says. Um, as it does, it does better than any description I could give. Benny is bringing his vibes and energy from Utah. His passion for music is what makes his individual character stand out. From his lyrics to his rhythm and flow, his, he's self-driven and taught with 10 plus years of experience when it comes to recording and production. He says, I appreciate the love from, who, from everyone who has taken the time to feel something real with me. Shout out to those who hold me down. These views are above the norm. Better things are ahead along with new music. Always looking for looking out for collaborations and production. Believe in your greatness. So, artist from Utah, Benny. Um, hopefully, he takes my criticism as well. If he ever sees if he sees this, I hope he does see this. I, my apologies for taking a while to get to you. Um, I had a I had a pretty long list. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll check out the your most recent tracks. Um, first track we'll check out is Summer Twenty One. Wait a minute, Benny Hanna. Wait a minute. Is he Benny Hanna? Benny vibes. Are you Benny Hanna, or did you get that? I know that's off of YouTube, but Benny Hanna is someone I rap over beats a lot. If the, if that is you, sir. Your ability to produce is phenomenal. Groovy, groovy. Um, I can't really understand what he's saying though. His the beats mastered way too, mixed way too high over the vocals. Can't really understand what he's saying, but it sounds very groovy. Excuse me. was summer of 21 um again not it's kind of just pretty standard um can't really understand what he's saying uh because he's mixed not that well the instrumentation excuse me is way too high it's way too loud oh excuse me it, all you really hear is the hi-hats and then the flute which i'm loving the flute but um that being said but and like his layering reminds me of uh who makes that? Go gain no break. Is that Peep? I'm pretty sure it's Peep. He reminds me a little bit of Peep, uh, just a touch. Not bad, but you know, kind of just there. Like it's one of those things where you, I guess you would. It kind of sounds like background music, but it's not horrible. It's just kind of just there. Next track is "Remember a Tailored Wedding Day." We go remember this for the rest of our lives. Uh, man, I also just mentioned he. This is Benny Vibes, Luki underscore Yo Want Some, and Magic on the Mic. That those are the people. So, we'll see what so far how this started off in just 14 seconds. Very interesting. Giving me very like back when Minecraft parodies were taking over the internet. But but it's good. I'm not using that as an insult. But it does. I, I do like that sound. Let me hold you tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, groovy. I'm liking this. Yeah. All right, time to get lit. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, this one for my lady. Woo. Uh, yeah, get, get, get. Yes, you got me with you. A first date, I knew you were special, special. Girl, the way you been, can't wait for you to be my wife, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, not 
not bad. It's very giving me the same energy of, like, it's oh again, it's like it's catchy, but I mean, it's very like not really worded together well, in my opinion. I think the lyricism is very like, oh, I love you, bitch. I'm gonna go start loving you, bitch. It's giving the same energy of that video for me. I just like that's like the first the minute she started being like, that's this was for you, girl. Yeah, yeah. It's giving me a very uh the, <laughs> that one video. I love you, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Not bad crooning. No, no doubt about it, dog. I'm loving the production, I will say that. I am loving the production. I'm loving the production a lot. I like how, um, I like the switches. The switches are sudden, yet they are smooth. Um, especially this one. This one feels more atmospheric. Um, but, again, as far as vocal performances and lyrics, very SoundCloud rapper-ish. Very, like, amateur. Very under underwhelming for how good the instrumental the instrumental is, in my opinion. Yeah, it's groovy though. All right, that was Remember, a tailored wedding day. It's very sweet sentiment. Um, beat, it can get atmospheric at times. It gets like interesting, but other than that, it seems very like a very standard trap beat. Um, vocal performances is not horrible, but if I were to say it sounds like what Merlin, what if they were to listen to Merlin Yoshi, another guy reviewed and tried to do that, but didn't do it as well. Um, lyrics are very amateur, very just like again, again, giving off the I love you, bitch energy. Um, it's not horrible, it's, like I said, it's, just, it's just it's just average. It just feel like the you know, it's just very standard. I keep dropping this phone. And the final track we'll listen to is Lose Yourself in the Mo in the Moment, which actually has done 9,000 streams. Hmm. When these all these other ones are under 1,000, so that's interesting. We'll give that one a listen. Oh, God. And then um, we'll, re we'll review them as a whole. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. This, beat, this beat's doing something to me. You might. You better not ruin this, bro. Like, you coming in here, this is very Meek Millish. Dreams and nightmares energy. I need this. This this is about this need you to spaz on this for me. Ain't ready for bedding, ain't ready for bedding, no. Oh. It is going to the print, the belly's going in. Yeah, creating bobs is what I live. Oh, not my fourth bitch, but it's It's alright, it's alright. Yeah, lose yourself in a moment. Lose yourself with what I proceed to say. That was lose yourself in the moment. Um, beat carried, beat hundred percent carried. Uh, he produced it, phenomenal beat, loved it, um, carried it hundred percent. Um, vocals, I mean, pretty amateur. Um, it, I I definitely, I don't know. It's like his voice seems like it doesn't fit with the instrumental as good as it is. It doesn't. It flows okay. I don't know. It just seems like it wasn't put together well was it mixed together well to where it sounds like it's all one cohesive unit it sounds like it's just laid on top of it um but his pen makes his uh, his inability to really wrap anything really complex is kind of what makes that boring for a lot of people i would assume um as good as numbers as it done it's very catchy and that beat is very engaging when it goes on for four minutes um and then it's it's the same lose yourself in the morning. It like it does gonna honestly have a lot of people put them to sleep, or they will listen to this once and then not really listen to it again. Uh, I think that um, that song should have been definitely been a lot shorter. If you're gonna do it like that, I think by after the first, I think maybe the two and a half minute mark, um, you know. And I'm all for longer songs. I'm all for that. But at the end of the day, it has to be engaging for whatever time length it is. Um, so with that being said, I think that was way too long. And, and that was the three songs that were most recent. Um, Benny Vibes as a whole, is, in, is as far as the most recent tracks, how am I feeling? Um, I don't know. It's like, it's pretty, it sounds, it sounds very SoundCloud. He's not definitely not the worst person I've heard. I've reviewed worse 
but he definitely has a lot of work to do. Um, his production isn't bad. I love the the instrument instrumentals here are very very solid. Probably the be his best quality. Um, as far as his pen, it's pretty weak in my opinion. I think he I think uh, especially on topics like love and all that stuff, it's very like uh, it, it kind of sounds like an angsty teenage the friggin um what's the song remember, remember a tailored wedding sounds like an angsty teenager's rendition of what marriage would look like summer 21 would just be a, a vibey song that you listen to in the background party so that's not that bad i i don't think it's bad nothing outwardly offensive in any of these but yeah i just think just pretty standard and then lose yourself in the moment i'm gonna keep it real um that song is the inflection in your voice sounds like you're half asleep so i have to go listen to that one a couple more times to understand the lyrics um, it's, it has catchy moments. I love the background vocals, and I really do love the instrumental. I really do love the instrumental. Um, but yeah, I think I think overall it's just pretty pretty eh. Nothing really memorable or engaging in really any of these tracks. Um, if I were to give it a rating, probably a light to decent three. Um, but yeah, not not horrible, but. Definitely a lot more growth to be had, and hopefully you don't take my criticisms too harsh. Um, I say this was just based off the music. Um, uh, end of the day, uh, that's just my opinion. Do you have any questions or comments? Message me. Um, that being said, this was Artist of the Day. Uh, Benny Vibes, stay safe. Love y'all. Bye-bye.